Welcome back everybody. We've got another video for you guys today. So uh, in some of the last clips and things I've been posting on Instagram, I was showing uh, the new, uh, new to me breeding tank so that I can raise tilapia and have uh, a place for them to breed and then I can grow out the babies in here and then transfer those into the larger tanks. Um, I got some of the plumbing mocked up, uh, but I wanted to uh, bring everybody through and show you guys how exactly I'm going to tie all this together. So, some of the pieces I just got mocked up here. This is going to be a fill line eventually. Got a couple of valves on it because it's going to be a very low flow rate in here. And this is all half inch. And this is all stuff I had laying around too. And then uh, the drains are one inch PVC. And again, this is all stuff I had laying around. Um, I just had to buy these uh, uniseals. Uh, bulkhead fittings, sorry, those are not uniseals, bulkhead fittings. And I got all the, I got the, uh, the bulkhead fittings and the fish tanks from uh, Discount Aquaponics in Tempe. Uh, they have, you can't beat the prices there. I picked these up for $12. They're 20 gallons each and they don't leak. I've had them full of water now for four days uh, testing them out. Um, they got the drain over here. What I'm planning on doing is uh, I've already got this mock-up of a manifold here. It's got it's a one and a half inch PVC and then it's got 90 degree elbows on it with one and a half inch to one inch reducers and what the idea is is I want this basically right here facing up right here something like this and then uh, I'll do a high speed video of me building all this stuff so you can watch and then I'll stop periodically and show you what's going on. So I uh, hope you guys are having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects and without further ado, let's get to mine. I'm gonna set the camera up here. And then adjust. Oh, and something else I wanted to do is this fill line right here, I want to drop that down about a foot and a half. So we'll do all that stuff uh, in the high speed video. So hold on to your hats, folks, because here we go. Okay, so we're back. And I'll show you guys what I got done so far. So I had to cut some of this. I kind of made a mistake too. Um, but I did get this drop down about 14 inches. And then I just need to level it out now and then tie this into these guys here to fill them up. And uh, yeah, I need to cut a piece of wood to put underneath it to support it as well. So, uh, We'll go back to some more high speed, high speed work, and then we'll uh, come back and explain what's going on again. So here we go. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I'll show you the progress we have now. I've got the drain installed and tied into the main system. Um, I have it elevated on this end just a tiny bit, and then I. Uh, I cut this one and a half inch piece of PVC right here just to act as a leg so that in fact this end is higher than that end so that water is running down. At least that's what I'm thinking. So uh, now all I have to do is uh, finish the drains going from the fish tanks into the main drain here which is easy there and then on this side it'll just come straight out here and down into that. And I'm not going to glue these. I'm just going to use some uh, uh, some pipe uh, pipe thread tape. So the next uh, down the road, I want to change this all up and move it or expand it. I'm not wasting a bunch of pieces by gluing them together. Same with this. This whole manifold is all uh, none of it's glued together. It's all pipe thread tape pressed together. So I'm going to take a little breather. It is pretty warm out as it always is here in Arizona. And then we'll come back and we'll do another high speed video and I'll get the drains going 
and then we'll stop and have a chat about it and then we'll go again. Alright, so we're back. Uh, we got everything tied in. I've got all the drains dialed in and the fill lines going and uh, so far so good. We have a tiny little leak which I can I can address later, which is no big deal. So uh, here we go. Let me give you guys a close up look. Got our fill lines up and running. Coming out of here. And then uh, here's my drain lines. Here's the drain line over here. So there we go. Um, I did make all this using scrap materials. That's why uh, maybe some of the plumbing doesn't look as good as it, it could be. Uh, but when you're doing this on a budget, you try to reuse as much as you can and uh, make it work. So uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. And I'd also like to do a special shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys are interested in getting in on the action and you want to help uh, with some of the projects, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to. If you're in a position to donate and you'd like to do something like that, um, if you find any value in some of my projects, and uh, man, you know, maybe if you learn something. So uh, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell button next to subscribe, and you'll get a notification each time I upload another video. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. She's all done. So as always, keep building.